Hello everyone, it is Game Day. Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm at the Gateshead International Stadium for a run of National League game between Gateshead and Oxford City. Now, Gateshead, they are in very good form this season. Currently find themselves in the playoffs. They have won five of their last six games, drawing the other one. They are unchanged from their 2-0 victory at Kidderminster midweek. Their team is on screen now. Oxford City, meanwhile, we saw them in game day three and a 5 2 defeat uh, at Aldershot. They have really struggled this season. They find themselves bottom of the Ranarama National League, cut adrift a little bit, looking like they're going to go down. They make two changes from a 5 2 home defeat to Eastleigh, uh, dropping out of the team uh, Penny Smith and Aaron Williams Bushel. And coming in is Lewis Coyle and Alfie Potter. Here come the two teams out onto the pitch then. Cracking atmosphere today at the Gates of International Stadium for well, hopefully a cracking game. Gates head in the white and black, Oxford City in there, away at Red Kit. Josh Ashby of Oxford City gets us on the way at the GEIS. Ball in for Oxford City and that's headed away. Corner to Oxford. Josh Ashby on this Oxford City corner. It's a short option in Lewis Coyle if he wants it. But Ashby will go into the box instead. The header comes in. It's over. Well, it's not over actually. It's just come back to Ashby. Gets it back in. That's cleared away. Wigan flicks it on and Evans will receive the ball. Greenslade down for City. Greenslade's one throw. Trying to take him very quickly. Chance here. Ball in by Potter. That's headed away. And it'll be a free kick to someone, Oxford. Free kick to Oxford, it's been a right start by the National League's basement team, Ashby. Goes for the effort straight at Montgomery. Then Wurman coming forward, finds Hannon. Hannon will give it back to Wurman. Pulls it across, looking for Evans, it's cleared. Grayson on the throw. Goes long, Grayson. What a chance! Off of Story! That's collected by Tom Watson. That's Kane the Dom. Oh, shot saved by Watson. Come Gates says, going into the game now. Oh, Coup by three behind. Then Anger. Top roll score for Gates said this season. Ball in now for Oxford City. Back post. Simple for Montgomery. Tries to start a heat counter. Evans are come Oxford City. Pretty even start this game so far. Both teams have had plenty of the ball, plenty of chances. Can Oxford create here? Potter. It's on to Fleet. Fleet into Parker. Parker looked offside and he was. Here come Gates said, ball across. Can't oh. keep it in though. It's from. Yep, yeah, well. Joe Grayson on the throw in, headed away, puts from Ben Werman, back to Grayson, ball in, back post by Dom. Oh, throw in. Long throw in, the other side this time, it's cleared though by Fleet. Park has it. Kane of Dom, still Kane of Dom. Chance now, ball in, the Langham Master! It's a penalty to the and Anger over the header, taken out, and it says, have a 16th minute penalty. Luke Hannon with the ball in his hands. Big moment for him, big moment for me personally, I've never seen him score live. Luke Hannon versus Watson from the spot. Come on, Lukey boy. Yes! yes! Luke Hammond scores! Come on, Luke! From the spot, great penalty. Kate said, well, Oxford City now, and after all of these years of watching the boy from Yarmouth, he's finally scores. Oh, 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 oh,
Sorry, sorry. Oh, finally. Yes. I'm watching Luke at different clubs Cambridge, Port Hale, Colchester, Dundee. Finally, here at Gate Salo, watching score live. Fantastic penalty from him. Denanga won it. Uh, just like he did against Eastleigh a couple of weeks ago. He scored from the spot. This, that was an equaliser. So this is to give Gate Set the lead. Denanga. The ball out wide. Kane of Dom. Ball in. Denanga! Oh, just wide. Big chance for Denanga. That's a brilliant ball by Montgomery. Finds Hannon. Ball in by Hannon. The header! Oh, the save by Watson. Ball back across. Whelan shoots. Oh! oh sorry for that. I, mean, I think it was against Hannon. He picked it up off the, for the second time. But Gates there as well. The second surely isn't far away. Ball in here. Ah, oh, just Mr. Nanga. King Porridge Worman. I want to throw it. Come Oxford. Shots. It's easy again for Montgomery. Take a look. Gate says, we'll cross. Blocked and cleared by Oxford. Oxford City have a man sent off. Andre Burley. I didn't realise he got the first yellow at all anywhere. He just blocked a quick free kick. Second yellow, he's gone. Oxford out of town. Yes, Andre Burley sent off two bookable offences. We think we've worked out where he got the first one from. Given away the penalty, uh, it matches up with the time. So you've got first yellow for giving away the penalty, which Luke Hannon scores. And the second one for blocking a quick free kick. It's gone back to us, Oxford, down at 10 men. Great, so they've done this passing move for about a minute now. Oxford really started the ball. Now they're down to 10 men. So the ball at the top, Hannon's in. Luke Hannon. Oh, saved by Watson. Corner to the head. Corner second shot for the head. Worman finds Francis. To Hannon. Oh. I think it's lined up for a shot, but heavy touch. Hits it back up wide though. Uh, oh, Wheeler might keep it in. He does. Ball in. Headed up in the air. Falls for the Dom. Worman. His ball back in. Back post. The header. The hanger. Oh, that's not like gone in. Still gets to come get a set. Story. Story shot. Blocked. Ben Worman feeds it through. Evans. Now oh, here's Hannant. Ball in by Luke. And up by Oxford, another corner. Corner to Gates Ed. Ball in. Send it out. Look for for Hannant. And go back. Two minutes of added time at the end of the first half. So Francis gets that ball in at 10 of the way. Oh, my handball. They're still alive, Whelan. That's a Francis. And the Heath find a goal in these two added minutes. Kane of Dom. Francis. That's a Francis. And that's Evans. Evans up on Grayson. It's a story on the left. And that's half time. And half time here at the Gates of International Stadium. And it's Gates Ed 1. Or should City now. Yes, so half time here at the Gateshead International Stadium, and it is Gateshead 1, Oxford City and nil. Uh, penalty in the first half. Andre Burley getting a yellow card for the foul, for the penalty. That's important, I'll tell you what, in a second. And then Luke Hannant, man I've been following for five years, local boy, good friend of mine, finally scores a goal when I'm watching him. It took him a while, but he scored the penalty. Um, yeah, Andre Burley got a yellow card for that. He then blocked a quick, quick free kick, got his second yellow card. He's been sent off. And I think since that red card, Oxford City are at about 5% possession. They have barely touched the ball since they've gone down at the same end. Gates have dominated. Not yet been able to get the second goal, but I think the third gates will open the second half. And if you do enjoy this video or enjoy any other videos that you hear on game, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how your team is getting on. Let's on with the second half, on with some more goals. So is out for the second half. And Gates head to Kieran Evans. We'll get some light for a second half. Well, hopefully see some more goals. They are on the way. 
Lovely ball over the top and it set Hannon away. Hannon, ball in. He'll uh, go again. One's Grayson, Francis. Three ball at the wire and clears. Oh, chance it may be wire and blocked. Again, anger! Early goal in the second half. Marcus Tananga finally gets his goal. Gates says top goal scorer is added again. And Gates said double their leads. Yeah, it's Marcus Tananga doubling the heat leads. He had plenty of chance in the first half. Surprised he didn't score, to be honest. And Ben Werben, early second half, had the shot. Took the uh, deflection, fell to the feet of Marcus Tananga. He wasn't going to miss that time. And he had two nil up. Lovely move again by Gates and Hannah is in. And uh, is that a penalty? No, it's a goal kick actually. Luke's Azamon, he's been fouled there. Nothing given. Rare bit of possession here for Oxford City. So get the ball in. Back post. That uh, will be cleared by Story. Uh, Follow your wheeler then. Can't swirl that clear. In and on. That's a good tackle. And it's a good tackle by Greenslade. Long throw from Grayson. Picked on my story. And story goes to the shots. Clears. Evans. Cannon's ball in. Payne had on. Shoot, man. What the hell was that? Of course, the hand offside. Gets the ball in. It's cleared. Shot. Yes! It stands. It's the anger again. Right place. Right time, that's why he's the Heat's top goal scorer. Gates said three, Oxford City now. Game over now, surely. Double for Denanga. Uh, chance of on the way to the Football League, and you can't blame the Gates and fans for singing that. Being fantastic in this game, they had got another goal. Thanks to their main marks with Marcus Denanga. The Heat are out to make a substitution. I'll just see who that is coming off. Didn't quite see that was coming off actually. I can tell you it was uh, Jean Brown who's coming on. I have it on your screen, he's coming off. Nice round of applause there. Kieran Evans is coming off, I believe. Yeah, fantastic atmosphere, fantastic performance. He to bring the luck. Hannon, back to Grayson. Ball in. Brown. can find him. Corner to Oxford City. Rare chance in this second half. Headed away easily. One throw for City, oh, that's not the best, it's cleared. Chance to live though, that's cleared. Flicked on, White oh, sets in anger away. Good defending though. It's a great pass in this game, that's a really good cross. Story at the back post, sorry, Brown. It's corner to the heat. Ball in here from corner, and away. Uh, ben Werman, Sean Brown. Francis, ball that way now to Cannon into Werman. Oh. He's going to call that. <laughs> Shot comes in by Wheeling, the star, passing around, and Langer can buy yeah, his hat trick goal. Clearly, uh, left off training around there. Francis, Werman, oh. to Hannah, back to Francis. Straight at Watson. Great move though. Denanga on to Brown. Flags up. Viva Lucaro! Going down the way. Mason Gates says sing. Viva Lucaro! Viva Lucaro! Viva Lucaro! Going down the way. Mason Gates says sing. Viva Lucaro! Ball in. Brown! Oh, Right, and I'm just wise. We've got 13 minutes to go, it's still free now. Oxford are in, Oxford are in. Not really. Another lovely crossfield ball by the Hayes. Wyman. Stop by Watson. Hey, that arm. It's foul. No. It's corner, though. Corner. Okay, so let's get the ball in. Ooh. Shot by Grayson, oh that, uh, mm. not the best. Ball in, please, oh, a bit heavy, no laser. Out here now, so comfortable 
the heat up. Ball in here. Okay, it said bouncing. Clear away. Uh, out of time, four minutes in this second half, four minutes out of time. Here is the number four wheeler, plays it through. Oh, oh my fourth for Danango. Still it there is now with Danango, he's, he's on a hat trick. Wheeler, oh, blocks corner. No, Watson stops it. Come the Hayes, Danango, Dom, chance. No. Okay, it said find a fourth goal. So we enter the fourth minute of stoppage time. Scoring. Delanga! Patrick! By Marcus Delanga in the last minute of the game. Okay, it says number nine. He's really in the goal today. He's got a hat trick. Gateshead for Oxford City now. It's been the Denanga show once again for Gateshead. Denanga! Yeah, it's Marcus Delanga getting his third goal, completing his hat trick, completing a very good day for Gates NFC. They have played fantastically, dominating all of the game, pretty much. Oxford having down at 10 men for a lot of it. But uh, what started with Luke Hannon penalty has now seen Marcus Delanga score a hat trick, 4 0 up. We've got about 40 seconds left. In again, Gates said, they're in again. They're on a the fifth, pull across, Delanga! Stop! Yay! And that's it! That is it, full time here, Gateshead 4, Oxford City nil. Full time then in Gateshead, I was just back to my hotel and it finished. Gateshead 4, Oxford City nil. Gateshead opened the scoring when Andre Burley gave away a penalty uh, and Luke Hannant tucked that penalty away. He tucked it away, he scored an absolute beauty from the spot. And then from then on, it was the Marcus Denanga show. It was 1 0 at half time. But uh, before half time, Andre Burley got his second yellow. He got sent off. Uh, but yeah, second half was definitely the Denanga show. A hat trick from the number nine for the Heat. Sealing a 4 0 win that, to be honest, was always coming. Um, particularly after that red card. You know, Oxford City really struggled to have any sort of possession. Dates had dominated that stat. I would hate to think what that was. I've not been able to see that possession stat, but I should think pretty one sided. And yet, the second half, I expected to have plenty of goals, and there was, there was three more. Finished four, and Elgate said looking very good in the playoffs at the minute. There, I mean, just a quick word on the atmosphere as well. The atmosphere was fantastic. There was 1,178 fans, I think, in there today. 44 fans from Oxford City. Uh, you know, fair play to them. That's a long way when you're not very good. Um, that's a long way anyway, but it's a really long way when you're not very good. But yeah, it was a cracking day, cracking atmosphere, cracking game, and the heat of 1 4 0. Lovely jubbly. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know how your team got on. But yes, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.